Okay, yeah, we should call Judy to tell her what we found out. Come on. B. You called. <laughs> Feeling tired? Bored? You promised I called, didn't I? Not anymore. Promising the one thing, keeping it all the way back. And so, did she learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock. Goes by fingers. Oh shit. Wait, you know him? Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah, runs a dicky chop shop up Jig Jig Street. Fuck V. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Alright, later, V. Damn, okay. So, this finger ripper dog is, is kinda dirty, right? I'm not sure if he'll help us. But first. Where is Jig Jig Street? Oh, it's nearby. Well, should we go there now? I guess... I guess we can do that. You stink of junk food! Johnny? Oh my, place has a wicked vibe. So this more up your alley than clouds? Hey, at least here you know what you're getting. Is that so? Okay, <laughs> we've read this already. United under the stars and stripes by Rosalind Myers. The 20th century brought upon us great tragedy. Nuclear war, catastrophic climate change, widespread hunger. Worst of all, the dissolution of the United States of America. Our great nation has often been forged and reforged in the polarizing fires of internal struggle. North against South, Democrat against Republican, corporations against federal government. But we, as a people, knew how to temper this discontent and become stronger for it, even by force in our darkest hours. This has always been and continues to be our moral duty to the land we love and serve. Humankind had never before known a nation like the US. We were the soldiers, protectors of the free world. Our armies maintained order, our universities fueled innovation and progress, our industry spurred growth and prosperity. Our press voiced the truths of our collective conscience. But when the US tragically collapsed, so too did civilization. The time comes again, as it has so many times before, for America to rise up and set the world on a new trajectory of hope. However, we can only achieve our goals of a better tomorrow if we do not lose sight of who we are. We must now rally together beneath our star-spangled banner of this new United States. We must push aside those corporations and rogue states who denounce and would deny our pursuit of happiness. We must sacrifice them for our common good. I ask you to fight against those who would divide us. With debate, with pride, with blood and iron. Okay. So if the U.S. has been dissolved, what's the country called now? And is it a is the is the former U.S. split in several smaller countries, or what's happening here, Johnny? Here, Kitty, Kitty, what's the rush? You a pizza, okay? Johnny, why do you appear here? He 
Julius Garrett, no affiliation. Why is he marked? Yeah, gear looks a little basic, but it works. So you didn't ask for any money? Nada? Could have been just a bit more careful. But I was. And I gotta work out, you know? What is that? If anyone wanted to see a jelly roll, oh, it's just a and look in the mirror. Internet browser? Okay. I'm sure. Don't got the eddies to fix you up. Stop whiffing for a week. You'll have plenty. Okay. And if I don't work, we're both going hungry. Ignacio Vega. A lot of personalities here that we can't interact with. Who are they? No affiliation. That's at least something, I guess. Hey, not one step closer. Here to see who. Hold on. Outer space, my life in orbit. What's life in space like? Comfortable. Of course, not everything's a bed of roses. Gravity below 1G isn't great for your bones or muscles. Synthesized food isn't to die for, and stuff from Earth is as rare as it is expensive. If you live in a private orbital station, congrats, you're richer than me. You always see the same faces. But if you live in a hybrid station like Crystal Palace, you'll have to live with corporate bachelor parties every weekend. But don't let that put you off. There are more upsides than downsides to living in orbit. First of all, safety. To get into orbit, you need a lot of zeros in your bank account, which means you won't see legions of homeless people, scassed out gangsters, or aggressive joy toys. The exception to that being the lunar colonies, lunar colonies, but no self-respecting orbiter dweller would ever set foot there. In other words, in other words, you can walk outside the night unarmed without security and come back home in one piece, wallet undisturbed. Amazing, right? Secondly, quality of service. Anyone in the customer service sector had to rack up an enormous debt to come up here. Their only hope to pay it off within their lifetimes is to rake in a lot, and I mean a lot of tips, which means they'll bend over backwards to satisfy every whim. If you're an employer, you don't have to worry that an employee you just hired and trained at your expense will suddenly quit and go work for the competition for a few extra eddies a week. Many stations, especially the private ones, simply don't have competition, and if they do, it's basically negligible. Agreements can be made so situations like that don't occur. Thirdly, and the most importantly, no government can tell you what to do, where and how. Orbital stations are autonomous and governed by their own laws, and there aren't that many of them. If you can afford your own station, you are the undisputed lord and master of your little corner of space. You want to tie the help up? You want to tie the help up to a whipping post when they make a mistake? Go right ahead and want five wives or four husbands. I'm sure you'll have a line of willing volunteers. Oh, so the orbit stations are not government controlled. Interesting. Probably don't need to t pay taxes. On the other hand, it's probably really expensive to sustain yourself in space. Who is Dr. Paradox? Who is hiding behind the distorted mask? Unsurprisingly, Doc Paradox won't say. After all, he's breaking the law. He has to protect his ad identity. Few revealed even the tiniest sliver about himself. Netwatch agents would be at his door in less than a minute. But think about it, think. What kind of person could successfully hide from the world's most powerful corporations for years? Who could hack into encrypted TV channels? Who could disclose highly declassified corporate secrets? The answer is obvious. Doc Paradox is one of them. He's a puppet controlled by the establishment. To what end? Maybe this is how corporations funnel our anger and frustration in a safe and controlled manner, through a rebel who will never go so far as to issue a call to arms. Maybe he's being used to reveal facts that hurt the competition. Or maybe he's just a branding opportunity. In a month or two, Avante could put out a new dark paradox line for us to wear our disapproval. 
Only time will tell, but for Christ's sake, don't listen to a word out of this phony's mouth. So it seems like Dr. Paradox is some kind of whistleblower? Alleged whistleblower? Okay, I don't want any trouble, I guess. Or looking Watch for fingers. Way. Let's answer his questions honestly. Looking for a ripper doc, goes by fingers. Know where I can find him? Who's asking? And why? Yeah, I'm just a regular who wants to have his implants checked. Got a problem with an implant. Not from around here. Couldn't find another ripper in the city to patch you up? Red Fingers was the best. Yeah, the best for joy girls. Oh. Are you a whore? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> An escort. For special tastes. Looking for a ripper who can cater to my special needs. Good. Fingers will like you. Let him through. Nice. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, would you pay for my services? No, no. I'd, I'd live here. A joy toy. Under the influence of drugs. Oh, gracious creature! And the benign! Vividic to the element of skewer! Us! Who the world with, with, with bloody stain in Who are they taking? If, if the king of all we own, our prayer to him should for Free thy peace arise! Were pop Sounds like paradise. 24 hours you feel no pain and barely remember a thing afterwards. Who can blame him then? If you're taking drugs, why would you not want to remember anything? Kinda defeats the purpose. They are all under the influence of drugs. That does not seem right. Oh, let's equip. Do I look like a joy toy now? Oh my god, this actually looks great. This got more armor though. Oh, I can't equip this. I don't know what this REQ stands for. Oh, level requirement 10. Yeah, I see. No, I like the Voodoo Boys anti interference better. It's comparable in armor, so it's fine. This got more armor, but I look stupid. <laughs> So I'd rather not wear it. Okay. Oh. Okay. That looks ridiculous on me. Okay. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Why am I completely unequipped? Isn't this dangerous? <laughs> Why am I not equipped? Oh, because yeah, I visited the uh, I visit clouds. Okay, let's equip assault rifle. Wait, light machine gun, but it's worse. Revolver. Hmm. Yeah, I got a new katana, but it's worse than it's worse than my old katana. So let's just disassemble it, shall we? Okay, I'm equipped. I can't pull out my weapons. Okay, fair enough. Uh, 
Are you all right? Hey, you all right? No way I'm gonna swim. I hate water. Can't you see nobody cares? Fingers. Know where I can find him? If I could, I'd swap, you know? Why does everything have to be so damn convoluted? In the end, only I got left the shredded cables and empty bottles. Oh boy. NTA. America a prophecy. The terror answered, I am Orc, wreathed round the accused tree. The times are ended, shadow past, the morning gins to break, the fiery joy, the urizen perverted to ten commands. What night he led the starry hosts through the wide wilderness. The stony that stony law I stamp to dust and scatter religion abroad. To the four winds is a torn brook, and none shall gather the leaves. But they shall rot on desert sands, and consume bottomless deeps. To make the deserts blossom, and the deeps shrink to their fountains, and to renew the fiery joy and burst the stony roof, that pale religious lechery, seeking virginity, may find it in a harlot, and in coarse-clad honesty, the undefiled who ravished in her cradle night and morn, for everything that lives is holy, life delights in life, because the soul of sweet delight can never be defiled. Fires enwrap the earthly globe, yet man is not consumed. Amidst the lustful fires he walks, his feet become the brass, his knees and thighs like silver, and his breasts and head like gold. What the hell was that? Oh, a new item. <laughs> it's the same armor. Oh, it's called Bai Long, which stands for White Dragon, which means White Dragon in Chinese. Is this something that the Tiger Claws should be wearing? I mean, I look more like a... Um, Joy toy in this outfit, I guess. Oh my god, my pants don't match at all. How about this one? Okay, okay, I can see that. Cannot be cured by replacing the affected tissue with implant technology. But the extra dead biodine has been nanites that, when injected into the spinal cord, wait, where do I go? Oh. Hey, Think I'm scared of your skinny ass? You will be when every box in town descends on this shithole. You got a financial claim? Take it to court. You fuck pussy. off and leave me be. Fine, I get it. Everyone's got their breaking point. Just oh. pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off the greener pastures. Who are you? Pimp. A joy toy. Sick. Cyber was that is faulty damaged. <laughs> oh, what you do? And that shit has a name. Something around 20 thou. What? Come on, you pulled that number out of your ass. Hey, what's that tone? What is this? Is this an illegal hey, in prostitute ring Who or something? Think fingers would have fixed a crack face plate for me. Hey. Judy, why the hell are you here? Hello! There's a line! Nuh uh, you ain't cutting. Sit your ass down and wait your turn! They're all sick. Or worse. Judy, why are you here? Fingers guy, you know him? Heard some things, yeah. Like. His hand sometimes slips. Whoa, okay. You mean on purpose? Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. 
had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. After the heist, Evelyn hold up with the Mox for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell she go back to Clouds? <sighs> Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. You talked to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docs in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. Okay. Evelyn, she means a lot to you. She means a lot to you, doesn't she? And you've arrived at that conclusion how exactly? Moment you knew where she was, you sprang into action. Mm -hmm. Once you get close to Evelyn, you never want to let her go. Okay, what does that mean? Do you love her? You work the clouds. Not as a doll. Tuned their virtues. That's where I met Ev, Tom, and the rest of the crew. Okay, who's Tom again? <laughs> I don't remember. I think Evelyn's been kept here somewhere. On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. But on the other, hope to God, no. Because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to her. I mean, she was malfunctioning, and no one knows how to repair her, so... And Fingers is not the best ripper dog in town, apparently. But Fingers paid a sum for Evelyn, I don't know why. Crime Block McCrane scanned the room with a deft Kiroshi sweep. This corpse was no different than the dozens he'd seen over the years. The dead man's eyes frozen in fear, his ligaments, wires and intestines strewn about the floor. None of it made any impact on McCrane anymore. Okay, this is fiction, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna read fiction, okay? Oh, wow! Put that away. Put that away. Thank you. Uh. Let's ask for her. Fingers a friend to the working guys and girls around here? Helped me. I'd be in a wheelchair if it wasn't for him. Oh. He chipped you some chrome with real skin that had peeled off. What he replaced it with looks like a bathroom floor from a senior home. Judy! Better than being a cripple. Yeah, yeah, Judy, can you just let me handle this seriously? Oh, okay. Then... No, I don't want to go for the violence option. My friend here is in really bad shape. That might get me somewhere. My friend here, she's in real sorry shape. You couldn't let us cut in front just this once. Uh, uh, uh Judy. Of course. Honey, pick my guest. Well, now hold on, hold on a sec. Didn't seem so bad just a minute ago. She's a toughie. Keeps it inside, mostly. Now try to Come on, let's go. Lips of yours. Mm -hmm. Ah, they're so understanding. Huh? How about now? Uh, wait. Wait, something's wrong. Can we Can't cut it off? Nothing but a blur. Faceplate's previous owner had a longer face than you. Edges are stretching your optic nerves. Don't worry. Your eyes are dust. We going in? Eventually. Okay, this worked somehow. He is also just yes? hello. Making ends meet, huh? Chemicals, the invisible killer. Yeah, we already read this. What can I do for you? Um, can we talk a minute? Need a minute of your time. A minute? That's all? Shame. Could watch those juicy lips of yours flap for hours, days. <laughs> 
But I'm busy right now. You, Tiger Claws? As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mocks. The mocks? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? Mm, let's not talk about the faulty implants. I'm sure he's doing Forget his best. Here. Heard you help the working girls around here. Well, very few children will play with broken toys. So when skin goes flabby, sockets go out of whack, implants malfunction, I'm sure you get the gist. You pay for goods, you expect top quality. Consumerism 101. Please, scrapyards offer better quality than this. Judy, be nice. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. Evelyn Parker. I need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... Like they deserve it. Of course, I can't remember each and every one. Please set your exquisite derrieres down. Here. Oh, you remember her. You paid for her. Went jittery as soon as I mentioned her name. Don't try getting out of this. I know you remember her. I, I have a neurological condition. It's not easy living with ticks. Really, I'd love to help, but if only I knew who you were talking about. Okay, fine. Let's get give him the benefit of the doubt. Uh, the name Forrest. Focus the. Who's Forrest? Forrest. Name mean anything to you? No. Nope. They call him Woodman. Works at the dollhouse. You... you talk to him? I'm asking the questions here. I'm the one asking the questions here. Was Woodman the one who introduced Evelyn to you? Introduced? <laughs> Interesting choice of words. Rolled her in on a gurney more like. She was out of it. I honestly couldn't believe she wasn't dead. Never mentioned her name, so... I just called her Doll. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. Okay, what was wrong with her? You mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what, exactly? If I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here, happy and smiling. Instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. But... Damage is caused by a netrunner using homebrewed malware. Sounds about right. Uh, do you know this for a fact, V? Hmm. Burn to a crisp, that could also mean well, can't speak or what? short circuit or something. Get to the point. The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Well, what did you do with her? Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now. Either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. I kinda, <laughs> kinda agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm down, Judy. Jude, calm down, okay? You're not helping. Let me do the talking. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. What is that supposed to mean? What do you mean by underground? I don't know. I mean, I don't watch that sort of stuff. Snuff? XBDs? I told you I don't know. You sure about this? 
four days I had her here. She was out cold in La La Land for practically every minute. It wasn't a slumber party. We didn't have pillow fights and promise to send each other postcards. Where we find her? I like you. <laughs> You're frisky. Intrepid. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and picked her up the same day. Your fixer? Who'd you call? Who's your fixer? Wakako. Told her I had a busted doll with a BD implant to hand off. Okay, Wakako. Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gunk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gunk? What do you think? Why do all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm, your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. These guys, what do they look like? Like you, me, anyone else in this city. Really now? They look like you? <laughs> they look like the kind of guys you don't make eye contact with. One of them was a bearded fellow. Well, that's not saying much. Judy, can you please calm down? We're all doing our best in this shit city, in this shit world, okay? The two that came from didn't say anything about where they were going to take her, what they were going to do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. Oh my god, that's not the correct way to say that. <laughs> Need air. I'll be outside. <sighs> yeah, Judy's right. Judy's right. People like you make this city a living hell. Oh no day no no in, no! Not that. Day out. Got what you wanted, didn't you? So get the fuck out of here. No, I I do believe you are helping everyone. Sorry. Um, the world is will and idea. But besides all this, death is a great opportunity no longer to be I, to him who uses it. During life, the will of man is without freedom. His action takes place with necessity upon the basis of his unalterable character and a change of motives. But everyone remembers much that he has done, and on account of which he is by no means satisfied with himself. If now he were to go on living, he would go on acting in the same way, on account of the unalterable nature of his character. Accordingly, he must cease to be what he is in order to be able to arise out of the germ of his nature as a new and different being. Therefore, death loses these bands, these bonds. The will again becomes free, for freedom lies in the essay, not in the operari. <laughs> what are you reading? Deep philosophical texts? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I, I knew you were just trying to help everyone. No one has the money, of course. But you're still trying to help anyways. Can I use this? Oh, I'm just stealing everything here. I can't use it. Fair enough. Sex and Chrome. We've read this. Uh, did I equip something? Judy? Hey, you can go now. Sheesh. 
You can go in now. I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. And you two got along swimmingly, didn't you? Exchange numbers, too. Two birds of a fucking feather. Excuse me? Trust me, Judy. Compared to the pieces of shit I scrape off my shoe every day, Fingers doesn't come close to being half their brand of rotten. Got no fucking words, V. None. Don't worry, we'll find her. Let's be optimistic here. Don't worry, we'll find her, I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey, keep it together. You want to give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the death's head. It's better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing. <laughs> okay, I couldn't... Uh, um, yeah, I feel the same way. I couldn't convince her, huh? Just try to be optimistic. Death's head symbol you? bring anything to mind? Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit would be on the move almost always. It makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. We need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. It could be we'll see something to point us in their direction in one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Hmm. Do you have any better ideas? Got a better idea. Matter of fact, I do. A domain called Pleasures of Night City. There's a twin of it on the dark net. Oh. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Let me think for a sec. Why would I need a local fixer? Darknet domain. That's our best bet. Let's stick to the plan. Fine. Here's hoping you turn up something useful. Oh, okay. I'll wait in the van. Ask about the XPDs on Jig Jig Street. Oh, look, the, the people are gone here for some reason. Trying to rip us off? I got four bags missing here. That's the cut I got off Pablo. Don't like it? Take it up with him. I ain't dealing with Pablo. I'm dealing with you. That means you and me got a problem. Now, I could paint the sidewalk with your guts, but that wouldn't get me what I'm owed. Oh, you want to try? Go on, son. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy crap, I thought you're gonna brawl or something, not shooting each other. That is. Um, okay, who can I talk to? You? Hey, hey, you're a troubled soul if I ever seen one. Get you something to ease the mind. Take the edge off. Got the whole alphabet. CFP. PCP, resin, skate smash, maybe Vanadol, or maybe something that'll make you hot, huh? Sin, MDA, a little LP9. That last shit's so good it'll make you cry. Wait, are these drug names? Okay, let's see. Show me. Health booster. I 
can be anything you want me to be. Shit, her implants are older than I am. Can't believe she finds the spares to keep them running. Um. Okay, can I not talk to you? Sayonara Station by Luke Steelman. Wait a second, before we start, have you wondered how this book ended up in your hands? Where it came from? Who delivered it? Of course you haven't. Nobody ever wonders about things like that. It's a shame because the answer's quite interesting. I'd go as far to say it's fucking fascinating. Not so long ago, most shipments were made via sea on freighters. Cheap, quick and relatively safe. But during the fourth corporate war, some genius in Arasaka had an idea. To release automated, self-replicating mines controlled by an AI into the ocean. What could possibly go wrong? A lot, it turns out. The AI had a single objective. Destroy enemy vessels. Simple, right? Nusa slash Militech ships would get blown out of the water while the Arasaka free state ships would sail by untouched. Except for the AI's ironclad logic. Since there was a non-zero probability that a vessel waving a friendly flag might also have enemies on board, in the interest of optimization, it would also be sunk. Of course, when the leadheads back at Arasaka HQ realized what they'd done, they rushed to update the software, only for the AI to reject it as a virus. And thus, because of a handful of individuals' complete lack of imagination and foresight, the history of maritime travel came to an end. So let's come back to the question, how did you end up with this book? Unless you live in Chicago, where it was published, then surely not via the net, since that was destroyed by Bart Moss. Maybe it was shipped by plane? Not air, but air freight is incredibly expensive, so most likely not. By car then, we can't rule it out. But if I had to bet on it, I'd say it came to your city via train. Imagine that trains, that's right, the ones that go choo-choo, have survived into the present day. Just last year, 15,526 miles of new train tracks were put into use, including the underground tunnel connecting Tokyo with Shanghai. At top speed, an armored train can complete the distance between the two cities in under five hours. Now that's something I had to experience for myself. Two days later, I was in Tokyo, standing on a platform of Sayonara Station. Hold on. Wait. The net was destroyed by Bartmos? There's no internet in this universe? That's crazy. How do you watch YouTube then? Honestly, no one wants to talk to me. One do. Use your imagination. Why do you think I came here? Oh. So I wouldn't have to. Looking for uh, something special. A brain dance to really. You mean smut? Nah, more hardcore. Won't find it here. But there's a guy on Jig Jig Street has a whole lot of peculiar flicks. And I mean peculiar. Oh, okay. And who's that? Okay, we found someone to talk to. It's not a complete bust. Oh wow, that's cleverly hidden. Looking for something raw, untouched. Raw's all you get with me. What's your edge? Want some? Oh, sorry. I'll come back some other time. <laughs> Betting on it. Oh no, I scared the customer away. How about you? You buying or just gonna stand there like a pig undercover? Mm, what you selling? What have you got? Virtues. Any special kind? Well, let me put it to you this way. Those who know, don't need to ask. Fair enough. Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? Hmm... You can go for Corpo. Cop would have enough evidence to detain already. If I was a badge, 
You'd already be in cuffs while you sold the customer before me. All right, all right. You can't be too careful. What do you want? Give me the best of the best. The ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. Oh, damn. Uh, let's ask for a discount. How about a discount for your newest customer? Only give regulars discounts. If you're short, then fuck off. Damn, do I have enough money? Where do you get your goods? Where do you get these scrolls? Said you weren't a pig. Just curious, that's all. Once you booted up your virtue, dare say your curiosity will be satisfied. People that make these, <laughs> obsessed with privacy. Never even occurred to me to ask where they're from. To which caution I probably owe the fact that I'm still alive, talking to you. Fair enough, fair enough. What you got? Got anything that might interest me? Okay, let's see. Deep fried death's head moth XBD, an illicit brain dancing compatible with your software. It costs thousand euro dollars. You're killing me. <laughs> You're killing me. Fine. Pleasure doing biz with you. Okay, I'm gonna steal your stuff though. Relive it, Braindance Quarterly. Guest editorial. Braindance editors have long strived to strike a balance between real lived experience. We've read this. We've read this. Um, yeah, the XBD are the raw, unedited recordings, Braindance recordings that everyone is looking after. Where does this lead to? Okay. I don't think we need to get on an elevator for that. Meet Judy. Yeah, Judy can probably access the BD and edit it and look for clues or something. I don't know. Hop in. Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one too. <laughs> right here, right now? Don't you want to go back into your studio or something? Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. You might catch something at least. His face is blurred out. This can't be good for the psyche, can it? Oh my god. Scav, gotta be. No one else with that kind of fashion sense. Poor fucker. Yeah, I'm kidding. Netrunner. 
Okay, so he was a net runner. Okay. Heard shit like that before. Sounds like scavs to me. Don't see anything? Nothing useful or important? Try switching layers. Hey, what is that? Oh, the navigation here is a little bit awkward. Pizza box. From Bucca Slice. Doesn't say much. Wait, what about thermal vision? that sides chopping people up they were scrolling XPDs and something there ordinary box Decker Tanaka and Rogers logo standard for a trash heap ordered recently a slice of pizza great something Audio related. Radio's turned way up. Probably to drown out the screaming. Holy crap. Just a radio? That wouldn't be enough, would it? That's the floodlight. That's the equipment. Oh my god! Oh my god, do you not want to comment on that? <sighs> what is that? Electric corp patch in the coveralls. Some kind of disguise to get into the building, maybe? That rich synth got aroma. Cheap shit. Cold too. Mm hmm. Buck a slice. Okay, but these are not clues. Coffee was cold, like from the day before. Pizza looked fresh though. So? Means someone's grabbing buck a slice regularly, which is not something someone does for the flavor and the fresh ingredients. Pizza shares its DNA with styrofoam. Nobody's gonna slap across town for it. Okay, so we're looking for an electric core power plant located near a bucket slice. EC used to have a big old complex in Charter Hill. Bucket slice checks out too. How can you be sure though? I'm not sure. It's just the only clue that we can have. Here we go. Old electric core power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with this for now. Nothing else to garner from this scroll. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? Right now? Okay, let's let's go. Let's get going. On our way. 
miners became trapped deep underground following a high-magnitude earthquake. Thanks to their Suze Leak 2 hibernation engine, Still can't shake it. That virtue sample we saw with the dead's head moth. If all they scroll is snuff, then... Stop it. There'd have to be utter gongs to waste her on something like that. What you mean? What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street. But she's not responding, so unfit for her job as a doll. Oh, you just ran over a red light. Yeah, I know, I'm sure you know what you're doing. <laughs> Oh, look, is that a Zeppelin in the air? Wow, the rich people simply use hovercrafts to avoid traffic. You probably want to be careful here. And here we are. We going in? Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. It's not gonna be pretty in there. So? If you mean to tell me to hang back altogether, don't bother. Okay, fine. I hope you can handle yourself. Alright, going in.